Let's play The Witcher. Episode 8. Friendly Competition. Hey, welcome back to The Witcher. So we're in prison. Uh, we got thrown in here in the last episode after we were confronted by the city guard of Azima um, for having the reverence pass. I think that's why we got thrown in here anyway. Uh, so yeah, our goal for today is of course to get out of this prison cell and make our way into the actual city of Azima. I want to read a couple of things before we get started here though. Uh, just the stuff on the locations. We have the dungeon. We haven't actually unlocked the thing that says Vizima yet. Uh, but yeah, once we do, I will read that for sure. The dungeon is where those criminals unlucky enough to fall into the hands of the city guard are kept. Prisoners turnover, Prisoner turnover in the jail is relatively high. Some are released, usually to return after a while, while others are executed on the scaffold. Captain Vincent Mays of the city guard is the jail's warden. The dungeon affords access to the sewers which ran under the city of Azima. Uh, and then we have various other things that we don't need to read because we're way past all that shit. Uh, we could read about Tamaria, but holy shit, that's long. So let's go ahead and skip out on that. Uh, I guess we'll start this episode off by just speaking with some of the prisoners. Sounds good to me, an elven convict. Tomorrow's my big day. Why are you here, elf? Delighting in the last moments of my life. Or trying to. I hang tomorrow. I have a request. What would that be? I've always found games pleasant, and Jethro let me keep my dice. If you don't have your own set, we can share mine. Oh, so I'm guessing if you missed out on the set that you get in the outskirts, you'll probably pick up a set here. We'll go ahead and gamble. Go all in. And uh, take all this guy's money. It doesn't seem like he's going to need it anyway. Or hopefully take his money. Oh yeah, with that hand, we're taking his money for sure. Three of a kind? He has nothing. <laughs> I'm going all in. This guy's screwed. He might just instantly give up. Yeah, he did. Next round. Uh, we'll roll again. What did we get there? Two pair. Wow, we're getting really lucky. What did you get? You got nothing again? No way. Is it going to be this easy to beat him? Oh no, he didn't give up that time. Right. Let's grab that one. And roll it. Get a two. Nothing useful. Let's see what he does. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Wait, how'd we lose? Say what now? What the hell did he get? Did he get like a, a straight or something? I don't know. What did he get? One, two. Oh yeah, he did. Wow, he got extremely lucky on that dice roll then. I think he needed exactly a four and he got it. We got a three of a kind though. He's screwed. He has a pair. And we have a three of a kind. We'll roll the five and the two. And we get nothing hopefully he doesn't get another five if he does he wins oh shit he actually beat us all right you maggots the king in his mercy will pardon whoever subdues the cockatrice in the sewers pardon what about half the kingdom the princess's hand in marriage clever watch what you say witcher political jokes could get you in trouble i'll slay the monster too late there's another volunteer I'm the better candidate. The creep in the corner claims he'll defeat it bare-fisted. Which creep? Yo-ho! That tub of lard? You're kidding. You want freedom? Fight for it. Whoever wins faces the cockatrice. Piece of cake. I bet you Fatty would love a piece of cake. Alright, so we gotta beat up the muscle man. Vincent looks really weird. It actually looks like he's wearing another man's face. God damn, dude. Okay, so we'll fight that guy. Uh, can we gamble you again, though? I'd like to earn my money back. Oh, uh, we can. Okay, so I'm just gonna play him until we can beat him. Won the first round with a full house. Wow, he got four of a kind on the second round. And we got four of a kind in the third round. Let's see if he can beat us. He'll need to roll that three. Oh, he just rolled his whole hand. Yep, we beat him. Uh, so I think we're good there. I'm not going to gamble him again. I think he might have a little bit of gold left, but I'm not too worried about it, really. As long as we got our money back that we lost to him. Is there anything else we can do with these prisoners? Watch what you say. The walls have ears. Step away. We're on One day you squeal. This is arms, my rat. I may be a thief, but society's to blame. Hmm, yep. Nothing. So, 
Uh, we'll just fight Muscle Man here and get on with it. I'll defeat you, then thrash that lizard and go free. Let's do it. All right. Good luck, man. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? Why is it doing that? Whatever. All right, we got him. Pretty uneventful fight. Taken out just like that. Imbeciles. Vincent, shut the hell up over there, man. The whole time I was fighting Fatty, he was talking a bunch of shit. Bastards. You couldn't have beaten me without your spells. I didn't I use any spells. The cockatrice is no joke. Next time, you'll get beaten. I wish we had the option to just outright kill that guy right now, because he's annoying. Bust. It just says the same thing. Okay, why don't you go sit down and recover your health or something. Vincent, I did it. I beat the uh, muscle man. Congratulations. You won the right to slay the beast. I'm almost proud. Want to slay the beast, or would you rather just stand there? I need a weapon. That's funny. We recently confiscated a witcher's sword. Where? Not your business. Jethro, bring that silver sword. The one we found at Tyler's? <laughs> yes, idiot. That one. Can I have it? Get it from Jethro. The rest of your gear is in deposit for afterwards. Fine. One more thing. I'll pay extra for the monster's head, provided it's undamaged. I'll see what I can do. Gotta kill the cockatrice, not damage its head. We can bring that back to Vincent and get a reward. Looks like we're gonna get a Witcher's sword from Jethro over here. Oh, the sword. Where was it? Hurry up. I don't have all day. Yes, we also confiscated a potion. Once you've completed your task, collect your belongings from behind the bars. I'll ask about it. Then I'll get the professor. Stupid. The professor just does the wet work. If you want to be effective, you'd strike at his boss. Though I doubt you'd succeed. He's a big player. He has... concessions. Connections, you mean. I'll find him. First, you gotta survive your meeting with a cockatrice. Watch my belongings. I'll be back, and I'll want everything returned. Just like that, we're thrown into the sewers. This shouldn't be too big of a deal, really. I don't remember it being particularly difficult. It's just a cockatrice. We also meet a pretty cool character down here, from what I remember. Got a drowner eating a dude. Seems normal. If only they were that easy to kill. They take a much bigger beating than that most of the time. Oh, the, we can loot that guy's corpse. Oh, a torch. And some alcohol. Oh, this is all good stuff. Sweet. Yeah, there he is. His name is Siegfried. We'll go talk to him right now, actually. After I loot the drowner that we just killed. Uh, let's put on that torch as well and see what it looks like. I wonder if it, uh, how do I actually, is there a hotkey for this? There must be somewhere. Is it like Z, X, C? No, it's not. Maybe you do have to just click it. That, uh, that doesn't really light up anything. Oh, you're a witcher? Indeed. White hair, vertical pupils, signs of mutation. Skip the medical exam. Forgive me, I meant no harm. I'm Siegfried, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. I'm Geralt. I've heard much praise concerning the combat skills of witches. If you don't mind, I have some work to do down here, and I'd like to get it done fast. A cockatrice, correct? That's why I'm here. Let's talk. Yes? Think you can kill the cockatrice? The sacred flame will guide me. What prompted you to enter the sewers after a beast? It threatens Vizima. The Order's been fighting beasts for a while, rather effectively, too. Wait, that's witcher's work. You witchers are relics and few in number. You're no competition. The Order demands no payment for protecting humans. I suppose fairies funded your armor and castles. I've no desire to argue. We're both here. There's no reason to await the other's turn, especially while there are drowners here, too. Let's join forces instead. I long to see your combat skills, and I assure you, my sword is at your disposal. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna have him go with us. When I first played through this, I was like dead set against the humans. Uh, and I just told him to go fuck himself pretty much. But, this time around, we're gonna be siding with the humans pretty much in every scenario. So, we'll take Siegfried with us and see how he does. Agreed. Let's go. You lead. What was that? Something like popped up. Witcher's Silver Sword. Tip. You now have a silver sword, which is effective against magical beasts and monsters. The steel sword is more effective against humans and animals. Okay. And, uh, this guy popped up. Can Oh, I'm hitting him with the torch. Too fast. What are you talking about? Huh. I wonder if you can actually hit people with that. I need to take out this sword. Boy, I, like, glitched up here. Get it on... Fast style? Yeah. Siegfried's screwed over there, man. Look at him. He's gonna get owned, I think. Let's get on group style, try to help him out. Put on Igni. Man, the Witcher's being really weird today. I was getting like some, uh... I might need to actually restart my game. I was getting some weird shit happening while I was fighting that big fat guy uh, back in the prison cell. I don't know why it's acting up all of a sudden. Hopefully it's not too big of a problem. It was just, um... We just like freeze for a second. It was super strange. I don't know if it will even pick up in the recording. Uh, if it does, then I'll just end up cutting out that entire fight. Uh, which won't be bad because I didn't say anything while I was fighting him anyway. So aside from what the fuck, when uh, the game started to freeze. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and restart the game and the recording just in case if anything is a little bit messed up. We'll drop a quick save here and we will return uh, in a moment. Okay, and we are back. We can't actually go this way because there's uh, stuff blocking the path, but there is a place of power over there, which would be really handy. That will intensify our signs. Temple Quarter Sewers. And we have some mold on the wall here. Oh, there is a, uh, a place of power right here. I would like to perform the Ritual of Magic. I wonder if you can get different uh, rituals to perform there later on in the game. I don't remember ever getting any. Um, but maybe if you go up the intelligence tree or something, you can do more stuff with the places of power. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, we got three drowners here. Let's try to incinerate them. Wow. That was pretty good. Siegfried, you're not doing too bad, buddy. Whoa, girl. Quit dodging around. Get all this stuff. And continue our search for this cockatrice. There's some bars there. I feel like it's gonna be down this way. But I'll go check over here. Uh, I think this is where you actually leave. Later on. I don't know, though. We'll find out. Let's just continue on the path. See if we can find this cockatrice. Got a drowner there. Whoa! Cutscene. Get behind you. All right, let's do this thing. Is that Drowner still here? No, he's not. Let's try to incinerate this guy. Whoa, whoa, he's down already. Holy crap. That's a, uh, that's pretty scary, dude. I don't know if I should be using fast style or, or strong. Eh, fast style did the job. New entry in journal, Siegfried. We'll read that actually. I'm gonna try to learn all I can about the order and its members. The cockatrice is dead. Now, where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I'll lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Very well, though it reeks. Alright, so let's loot the cockatrice. Uh, cockatrice feathers, which is just aether. Malkad Saphira. What is that? A Saphira symbolizing the kingdom. Huh, quest item. Cockatrice had a trophy, which goes down here. I need to deliver proof of having killed the cockatrice to Vincent, so yeah, we'll give him that. Uh, it's pretty cool. In The Witcher 2, when you kill monsters, the trophies actually give you little boosts um, to some attributes and stuff. It's pretty neat. In uh, The Witcher 1, though, I'm pretty sure you can just sell them and that's it. Make haste. Uh, yep, this is the that exit. That door leads out of the sewers. So, this is where we part. But... Quiet. I hear footsteps. Odd. Few would dare venture here. 
Who is it? Oh, great. Looks like uh, Salamandra Assassins, probably. Or just regular Assassins, I don't know. They look like Salamandra. They have the uh, red masks on. That one's... What? The hell happened there? Friends of yours? Yeah, best friends. You could say so. The thugs with the salamander sign have been bothering me for a while. Who knew you'd be in the sewers? The captain of the guard, the loon from the jail, and the prisoners. I fought the cockatrice for my freedom. Hmm. A limited number of suspects. You'll likely solve the mystery when you find the leader of those bandits. I have a friend in Vizima, a detective. See him for help. Where are you headed? I have things to attend to at my quarters. Then I'll venture out in search of beasts, as the world is still filled with them. You did well, Siegfried. Glad we <laughs> met. I need to recover my things. Make sure you get everything. Jethro is known to have sticky fingers. Let's get out of here. Here's the key for the passage to town. A few days ago, I locked the door to keep the cockatrice in. Thanks. I'd rather not go back the way I came. We might meet again if ever you visit the sewers. At times I venture down here in search of monsters. Ah, your sacred mission of protecting humankind? Your sarcasm is unnecessary. We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Farewell, and thanks. If you ever need me, I'll be at my quarters in Vizima. We'll pay him a visit at some point. Can we loot that thing still? Yeah, we can. We received a key to the sewers. I think we can come back here at any point and train up on some drowners. I'll probably do some of that off camera, just so we uh, are a sufficient level to be taking on the enemies that we'll face in the Let's Play. Goodbye, Siegfried. He reminds me of a Dark Souls character. I think it's just his accent. His mannerisms a bit too, though, minus the uh, lip movement, you know. Uh, but yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. Did I just pick up? Yeah, I did. I just picked up a Temerian steel sword. Uh, we won't need that because I think we're going to get a Witcher steel sword once we get out of here. Uh, so yeah, just like that, we earned our freedom. We are now going to be out in Vizima. I wonder if we'll get that journal update so we can read about the town. That would be pretty cool if we did. I'll uh, take a little stroll around, scope Vizima's the place out a bit. Quarter. Whores, murderers, and beggars. Salamandra's base must be near. Whores, you don't say? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think we'll be uh, visiting any whores. Is that Siegfried? Who the hell is that? What you running from, buddy? Whoa! Hmm, interesting. The private eye Siegfried mentioned could be helpful. Have to start somewhere. All right. He's got a little bloodhound as his, uh... Is that a bloodhound? Some sort of weird dog. As his signpost. Raymond... Merlewev P.I. Cool name. And it was just a poor man. That corner. Something moved. Likely monsters again. Again? What corner? I'll find some monsters for you, old man. So, gate to a dike. Siegfried. Geralt, good to see you. Where are you going? To the dike. No passage. Captain forbids it. Why? Captain's orders. Talk to him. Gentlemen, that's no way to treat a hero. Geralt, the witcher that saved Vizima from a terrible cockatrice. A hero? Well, that changes things. He's almost one of us. In that case, please pass, Master Geralt. Whoa! We'll drink your health at the inn. Thanks, Siegfried. No way! I'm getting in with the humans. A surprise in the sewers. A night of the flaming rose. Soaked in stench from head to foot. He didn't look like that. <laughs> I usually work alone, but this was an opportunity to see a knight in action. I must say he did rather well for a human. Yeah, he only died. That was rare gratitude he showed. What a pal. I'm a... Uh... I'm actually really happy that we're siding with the humans. That's, I've never seen that because, of course, I sided with the elves the whole time. And, uh, yeah, I like it. It feels very heroic to be uh, protecting the humans and stuff, actually. So we have a friend in Vizima already. Uh, Siegfried. And I think Shawnee's knocking around here somewhere. 
We'll pay her a visit as well. I'm not actually going to go to the dike. I don't think. But it's nice to know that we can go there. There will be some quests that we can complete over there uh, at the dike. But for now, I'm just going to kind of wander around and just see uh, see what we can find. I'd like to find a notice board so we can get some quests to earn a little extra money. Uh, whoa! We got a fight here. Three graviers. I need to get out my silver sword. Don't panic. I'm starting to panic a bit. Whoa, four of them. Okay, power that up, girl. We could die here very easily. I need to dodge out of the way. Uh, I need to drink a swallow potion, I think. So I'll do that if I can. Whoa, toxicity is going up. Yeah. Oh, okay, come on, girl. Dodge out of the way. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't think I got to save. He's like eating me. Oh, shit. Girl, no. We're going to try that again in a second. I don't think we got an auto save um, when we came in here, but we'll find out, I guess. Oh, I did. I got an auto save once we actually went into the abandoned hut. So this will not be a problem. We will prepare ourselves a little bit better this time by drinking a swallow potion before we enter. Uh, I will also drop a quick save and put Igni on. Can I take my sword out? I think I might be able to in this house. Yeah, I can. Okay, let's put that on group style. And uh, this time those graviers are gonna get it. Mark my words. Okay. Two Ignis off on those guys. Oh, these seem bigger than I remember. Okay, three down. Let's go ahead and switch to strong. Is that one bleeding? No, it's not. Incineration. Whoa, what was that? He dodged. That was pretty cool, actually. He did a little handstand. He did it again. How neat. I don't remember them doing that. I wonder if uh, Rise of the White Wolf is changing that and uh, giving him the ability to like dodge out of the way. I don't know if it adds animations, but I really don't recall seeing that. What were we getting from those guys? It looked like blood. What? No, we were getting Cadaverian. Huh. It's weird. There's a dead woman here or something. Can I not loot her? No, I can't. Wow, that's creepy. Just a corpse. They were like eating her or something. Huh, might as well go around and loot some stuff. Get some wine. Uh, sugar doll. Fine, I'll take it. I don't want to pick up a bunch of stuff because we still have to go back to the dungeon. And I think we have a ton of shit um, that we're carrying around. We need to go find the inn as well so we can rest, get rid of our toxicity. And put a bunch of stuff away in storage. Mainly those salamander brooches. Some alcohol that we've gathered. Stuff like that. Okay, let's see what's going on here in the town. Of course, we have the PI there. We have a new region, Roper Street. Uh, Vizima's a little bit confusing, to be honest. There's some weird back the alleys and stuff. The inhabit this district. Dwarven craftsmen and elven artists. Yeah. Got a hooker. Seems like a <laughs> mean thing to call somebody. But I guess that's what she is, so. Abandoned house. Any more graviers in here? Do I dare go upstairs? <laughs> We might end up getting into another fight. This side of town seems to be pretty beat up, actually. Goose fat. Picture of... Looks like an elf. Aside from that, though, nothing interesting. An old used-up mattress. Uh, yeah, nothing. Let's get out of here. Uh, we have a door to the blacksmith. I think we can buy various bits and bobs from that guy. Some armor and stuff. Why... Why are you guys running around so fast? Let's talk to the hooker. I'll give you the world. Uh, so we can pay for her services. We can give her a gift. I actually feel bad for her that she's out here hooking, so I'll just give her some alcohol. <laughs> you jest. What? No, I was serious. Oh, no! What should I say? Shit, I, I lit that thing on fire. She didn't even take it. Wow. God's damn I was trying to be nice. How do we assimilate with them if they don't assimilate with us? Yeah, that's quite the problem. Let's go in here. See if we can trade with the blacksmith. Uh, yep, yeah, there he is. And a trader. Greetings, sir. Howdy. You're Smith's apprentice. Indeed, I run the shop. Keep things tidy. Uh, what do you need? I don't really need anything. Show me your wares. Whoa. I cannot. You don't come recommended, and we only serve our own and friends. Wow. See ya. 
So I wonder if we can't trade that guy unless we side with the elves. And the uh, dwarves, of course. Well, we'll come back later if we can, but for now, there's nothing we can do there. Uh, I do remember there being some order blacksmiths that I couldn't trade with when I played through and sided with the elf. So maybe that will be our primary trader. There's Kalkstein's house. We could visit him, I guess. Uh, but before we do that, let's go try to find... Oh, getting another cutscene here. The snake. I'd love to meet the fool who associated skin shedding with medicine. Yeah, I want to go find the dungeon before we move along here. I'd like to get our items back. And we should go visit the tavern as well. So we can put stuff away. A bunch of city guards are running around. Uh, when it's nighttime, you can take your sword out and fight thugs around town. Which is a pretty fun thing to do, I guess. Got some barrels, coins in there. Uh, a gardener. I think he has a quest that we can get eventually. Uh, but we'll see. Still haven't found a signboard. There will definitely be one outside of the inn, but I feel like there's one outside of the dungeon as well. Yeah, here is the armor of the order. Uh, what do we got up here? Guard post. A poster that says, Order of the Flaming Rose, Eternal Fire is our only hope. Wear the silvery armor and fight for humanity's good and salvation. We offer many privileges, including tax exemptions, an attractive share of goods taken from terrorists and enemies of humanity, free absolutions performed by high-ranking priest, priests, and training courses. Can I go in here? Oh, Siegfried. Why are you standing out here? Is this your house? Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Yeah, I would like to. Not today I heard of any Witcher jobs. Well... Before you say no, let me give you some details. All right. All right. Allow me to draw your attention to a few important matters. A primo, the order was created to serve humble folk. Secundo, anyone can join, peasant, nobleman, or witcher. Tertio, knights of the order enjoy many privileges. I've heard enough. A quarto, knights of the order pursue monsters. What do you think? No, thanks. Ah. No! I wanted to join. Geralt, don't be a son of a bitch. Not today. Heard of any witcher jobs? You mean beasts to capture or kill? The Order of the Flaming Rose manages well in that respect. However... However? However, recent happenings have engaged all our forces, and we received a request. Monsters threatened the boat landing in the swamp. Sounds like witcher's work. Anyone willing to pay to have it done? Not the order, certainly. Inquire with merchants in Vizima. A wealthy man named Luvarden signed the request. Okay. Thanks, Siegfried. I'll give it a try. Wow. So I wonder if you can't actually join the order. I should go to the dike where I can expect the merchant Luvarden to have a job for me. Oh, we can actually go in here, though. The order guard post. There's the wardrobe. Whoa, Sword of the Order. Minus 10% damage. Oh, I can have it as a secondary weapon. Tiberian Steel. We have one of those already, so I won't take it. Huh. Yeah, that'd be a real shame if you can't join up with the Order. I think you can, though, because I've always heard that this game has, like, you know, two different endings or whatever. Two major endings that you can get. And I, I was guessing that, you know, you join up with the humans and defeat the elves as the other ending. Uh, but maybe, maybe that's not the case. If you can't join the order, then what the hell? Uh, I guess we'll find out though. Spectres, Wraiths, and the Damned. Free book. The Flower and the Flame, a work devoted to the Order of the Flaming Rose, its history, its dogmas, and the figure of its Grand Master, Jacques de Aldsberg. We'll take that and read that at some point. Uh, dried fruits and nuts. No thanks. Okay, let's get out of here. Just a training dummy. Uh, actually, we'll read this book first. Just so we can get the bestiary. This book contains information on noon wraiths, night wraiths, specters, and the terrifying wild hunt. Adds a bestiary to the journal. So we learned a little bit more about these guys. 
A night wraith. Occurrence night wraiths appear on fields and meadows. They can be found after dark when the moon is high. They are specters, but at the same time, they remain a strong connection. They maintain a strong connection with the natural world. They see the living, but cannot understand them because the dead cannot hear the living. Immune to blinding, poison, pain, and bleeding attempts, and they're fearless. They're sensitive to silver and specter oil. They're able to grasp the moonlight and blind their enemies with it. Alchemy, death dust, shadow dust, and ectoplasm. Night rates are born of moonlight, wind, and the earth cooling after the heat of the day. They rise above the ground and whirl in a mad dance, which should not be seen by any mortal. If caught peeping, the mortal is blinded by moonlight, then taken into the circle and forced to dance until he expires at times becoming a night wraith himself. Huh. And a noon wraith. Noon wraiths haunt cultivated fields and meadows. They always appear when the sun is high. They are specters, but at the same time, they maintain a strong connection to the natural world. They see the living, but cannot understand because the dead cannot hear the living. Uh, immune to the same things, sensitive to the same things. The tactics is the same. They drop death dust, shimmering dust, and ectoplasm. Oh no, their tactics are not the same. They are able to grasp sun rays and blind their enemies with them. Noon rates are born at high noon out of heat, sadness, and sweat of plowmen. In the hot air above the fields, they gather to dance madly, creating air vortexes, but the specters dislike being watched. Those who peep are forced to dance with them. Noon rates stop their dance when the sun goes down. Once the abducted mortal is long dead from fear and exhaustion. A normal wraith. Occurrence wraiths haunt the places where they died or were buried. They are specters which do not belong in this world. Sometimes they are summoned by magic, but more frequently, unfinished business makes them linger in our world. They're immune to blinding, bleeding attempts. They are fearless and immune to poison, pain, and knockdown attempts susceptible to... Spectral oil and a silver sword. Uh, tactics. The suffering experienced by a wraith makes the wounds it inflicts more painful. Alchemy is death, dust, and ectoplasm. If you want to get rid of a wraith, you must first find its body. Try searching on unhallowed ground or in the corner of the cemetery where outlaws are buried. When you dig up the corpse, you will discover that it is not rotten and that the blood and that there is blood on its lips. Pierce the corpse with an aspen stake cut off the head and place it between the corpse's legs. To make certain that the wraith will never return, set the corpse on fire. One false step will mean your demise. The wild hunt. Why wasn't that a, there wasn't a little exclamation point over that, I don't think, but we definitely just learned about this. Occurrence, the wild hunt appears in the sky as a harbinger of war and other misfortunes. Some believe it to be simply a magical phenomena and not a horde of specters, elven sorcerers, Elven sources refer to it as the Red Riders. Immunity. No information is available about fighting the Wild Hunt. Uh, okay. Same for susceptibility. Tactics. Warriors of the Wild Hunt do not have to fight. They inspire such terror that people cower after a mere glimpse. There are known instances of abductions by the Wild Hunt. Alchemy is vapors of the hunt. The Wild Hunt is a horde of specters that roams the sky during storms and is an omen of disaster. The appearance of the Wild Hunt foreshadows war and woe, much as a comet does. The spectral Wild Hunt sometimes appears in nightmares of the cursed or those touched by destiny. Hmm. Yeah, so Geralt sees the Wild Hunt. We were visited by the Wild Hunt when we buried that guy's uh, corpse uh back where the reverend is in the outskirts what is that i think it was just like a temple or something we buried his corpse under the temple here's a knight of the order order footman the cloister of the order can we go in here no the temple gate is locked what was that noise it sounded like a kid threw up or something where did the uh, knight of the order go oh he's right here hey what's up buddy the strength within us will heal the world we'll see about that i suppose uh, and then back here we have some advertisement. God damn, dude, you guys have to leave these dead bodies hanging up here? Are those vampires? Yeah, they are. Right? Oh no, these are elves. These are definitely elves, I think, and a dwarf. I thought they were vampires because of the pale skin, but they're just long dead, so... They've changed colors. The Cemetery Alley. There's a guy back here that gives you a quest at some point. The town cemetery. The dead and undead await behind that gate. 
Plenty of work for a witcher. Indeed, we'll be visiting that place. Fairly often, I think. Another place where you can just keep going back and I think the enemies will respawn and you can get some training in. Much like the sewer system. Why are you walking around like that? Can I still have my sword out? No, I can't. It's now daytime, so... The game does not allow you to have your sword out. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We definitely can't join the order yet. I think we visited pretty much everything. We did not go to Shawnee's house. Uh, that's somewhere in this direction, I'm pretty sure. Um, but aside from that, there's nothing to really see over there, I don't think. Incredible. The Zima boasts a bad neighborhood. There is the inn over here, though, so we're going to go visit that. Oh my god, I completely forgot. We didn't even go to the dungeon. What am I doing? Where is the dungeon? Can I get a quest marker, please? Let's see. Uh, we have more locations. Nothing on Vizima, though. Cloister of the Order. Eh, we'll read that later. We just got done reading a bunch of shit. Safe Haven, I should go to the Dyke. No, I want... I should go and ask Thaler about the Silver Sword. Prison Break, after leaving the sewers, I need to see Jethro to collect... Yeah, okay. That's the one that we want. And it does give us a quest marker, so... Let's just follow that, go get our things, and then we'll go to the inn after that. Got turned around a bit there. It wasn't in that direction. Have to go up and around. Still trying to get my bearings here. You spend quite a long time in Vizima, so you do get used to the streets and the back alleys and, and stuff like that. But it's been a little bit since I've played. So I'm getting a little bit lost here. St. Loboda's Hospital. Which is right there. Shawnee works there, I'm pretty sure. An advertisement. Armor. This week's special. A free pot with the purchase of any buckler. Dungeon door. Where's the armor? Here's a, a notice board. We can get jobs there. New raging guardhouse. Where's the guardhouse? Here? Gate to trade quarter. You can't go there. Uh, let's see what they say if I try to enter, though. Nothing. I know we need a witcher to kill the sewer beast, but the butcher of Blaviken? What's the problem? I know who you are. The city guards are watching you. I'll hear no humans being slain in this town. You'd hardly be the first to know. Witty? What you want? Anything interesting? Shops? Taverns? There's one tavern, three gates, a market, a hospital, and dark alleys you'd best avoid. What's the hospital like? It reeks of the plague. They treat the disease, burning the rags they use. Anyone who gets an old bad side gets stationed there. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the merchants? The bar the castle gate. What about the gates? One leads to the dark, another to the castle, and the third to the merchant's quarter. Where do I find them? You cannot use the merchants and castle gates without a permit. The king has instituted a quarantine. What's the tavern? The hairy bear, a true cesspit with dodgy clientele. Better to drink from a trough. Sounds I like my kind go. of place. Okay, so we got some directions to various places, and yeah, he informed us that we can't go into the merchant or temple district, I think. Oh no, aren't we in the temple district? Why did I just get experience? Oh, it's because I killed this dude. What the hell? Who is this? And why are these guards fighting? Are they just training on each other? Or... Did they accidentally hit one another and then, uh, no, they're not losing health, so they are just training. Okay, well, we're at the dungeon, so we can go pick up our belongings, but first, we can grab all these quests. We have the wolf contract, the echinops contract, owl ghoul contract, dog contract, and drowned dead contract. Okay, let's go ahead and just quickly click through those so we can get that on our quest log. Uh, do we want to read all of these? The Drowned Dead entry in the Beast area is required for this one. The Order of the Flaming Rose will reward brave extermination if the Drowned Dead is proof of having defeated the monsters. Ten Drowned Dead Tongues must be delivered to Knight Siegfried of Denezel at the headquarters of the Order. Okay. That's the Drowned Dead. The, uh, quest notification sound is the one from Skyrim for some reason. Uh, that must be... Rise of the White Wolf adding that. I did install the sound part of that mod as well, so has to be that. The dog contract. I will pay well for the elimination of stray dogs. Deliver six pots of dog tallow as proof of completing the task. The Gravedigger gave us that one. 
or posted that one. And I'm just going to drop these right outside. Hopefully they will despawn eventually. Wanted wolf pelts deliver to the landing in the swamp. 10 pelts required. Ask for Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre, rather. Drop that. Econops. A handsome reward awaits any individual supplying three Econop rootstocks as proof of having exterminated the plants. Inquire with the gardener working by St. Lobodia's Hospital in the Temple Quarter. The Econops entering the beast area is required to complete this contract. And last but not least, we have the Al Ghul contract. I will pay for the marrow of three Al Ghuls. Must be fresh. Kalkstein. Alchemist. Oh, okay. Our buddy Kalkstein wants some, wants some uh, bone marrow. I'm sure we can help him out with that. Okay, so we've got a bunch of quests now to earn some extra money, but let's go get our stuff first before we do any of that. And we should probably talk to Jethro a bit. Oh, Vincent, we can sell him this trophy, but let's get our stuff first. You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this Sweet. absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm, good quality gear. I must take my things from the chest and take the cockatrice's head to Vincent. Okay, so is it in here? Can we go in here? This is where, no, that's just a jail cell. Hey, that's a really nice cell. This is where the professor was. Look, they get an actual bed. I wasn't afforded that kind of comfort. This is, uh... This is some bullshit, Jethro. I should have been in there. I'm a hero, after all. Haven't you heard of me? Geralt of Rivia. Don't forget the name. Uh, we'll drop this, because this, this can't be as good as that, right? Doesn't say. I don't know. I have no idea how the weapons work in this game. I want to keep that Sword of the Order, though, because it looks cool. So that will be... Yeah, that, that takes the place of this axe, which is fine with me. This torch does jack shit, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. We'll take the dagger. I'm still not certain if you need that to skin stuff. This weapon cannot be used in combination with Witcher combat styles. Yeah, so I don't know. I always thought that you needed a dagger to skin the animals and stuff in this game, but I don't know that for a fact. Alright, I'm just gonna go through here and take a bunch of stuff and leave some stuff in here that we don't need. Oh, we have a trace of the beyond. I thought we used that. Okay, uh, I left this key in there because I think that might be a quest item. I don't know if you can get rid of it if I pick it up. Uh, the bread, milk, and uh, those two weapons. I'm just going to leave that in there because it's trash and we no longer need it. Something must be Let's go ahead and sell this trophy to Vincent because I'm pretty sure you can only carry one trophy at a time as it goes into this slot and you can't actually have it in your inventory. So that makes sense. We have two pairs of dice. I wonder if they confiscated our dice when we went to jail and that's why that elven guy gave us a set because they would have taken the like five sets of dice that we had before anyway vincent i've got the cockatrice you're head. free but you still need to observe the quarantine meaning don't leave the temple quarter you must be kidding we keep a close eye on you witchers didn't i hear you say that everyone's equal what is it witcher How's the Salamandra investigation going? Patience, Witcher. All will be explained tonight. Any way I can help? Stay clear of the warehouses and the slums. It's a sensitive case that doesn't require your sword. Just yet. The warehouses. You don't intend to go there alone. It's a secret operation. How do you expect me to go? With an assault team and full plate armor and a bugler? Relax. I'm no rookie, and I got a few things up my sleeve. No doubt. Meaning? <laughs> no matter. Have a good time today. Enjoy your freedom. And maybe tomorrow I'll serve you Javid's balls on a platter. Do you handle monsters too? I'd rather not waste my men on that. I'd pay anyone who kills a monster. Just bring proof. What pays best? Right now, my budget includes reward money for the cockatrice in the sewers and for some bloodthirsty plant that kills people in the swamp. I can prove I killed the cockatrice. Impressive. That's 400 Oren's reward. 
Well deserved. See ya. That's a pretty healthy payment there. Received 400 orins. Perhaps it's worth checking what can possibly go on in the warehouse in the slums. I didn't get to finish reading that. Let's check it. Uh, suspect, Vincent Mays. Vincent isn't exactly the talkative type, but he did mention checking out various warehouses at midnight and not being paid for it. Investigating. Perhaps I should visit a few warehouses in the slum district at midnight. For more information on Vincent, see the characters section of the journal. Perhaps it's worth checking what could possibly go on in a warehouse in the slums district at midnight. Okay. Uh, we'll read about Vincent and um, Siegfried in the next episode. I'm just going to go to the Harry Bear Inn, organize our inventory, and we'll probably rest. And then I think I'll call it an episode there and we'll pick up from the inn and the next one. We'll probably start off by completing some of these quests uh, that we got from the notice board, earning a little extra money. We need to find somebody who will sell us um, armor and weapons and stuff like that. We're almost at three blue meteor right we just need one more shouldn't be too difficult to find another one of those i'm guessing there's going to be merchants within vizima um that will sell us a blue meteor right and then we can get an upgraded silver sword i believe it upgrades the silver sword and uh yeah that'll be pretty useful we can instantly get rid of the one that we just got and get one that does more damage and stuff here is an order merchant and armor so let's see if we can trade them i guess i don't think we can yet though are you the one siegfried spoke of oh maybe siegfried, we can Siegfried, the knight from the sewers it is you that cockatrice troubled us for ages i heard it was a hard fight she was young and fell quickly what's your business will you trade with me will you sell me your wares siegfried's friends are always welcome if you want to buy something speak to my apprentice i handle forging and special orders okay What's that? Blacksmiths. Blacksmiths can forge you new swords for meteorite. Left click on the forge. I think we've read this already. Tips. Blacksmiths can also burn runes into your silver sword. You need at least three runes to have them branded into a blade. And he will sell us a meteorite sword. But I don't know. I don't think that's actually worth getting. I think you want to collect three meteorite of a certain color before you actually go ahead with that. Why don't I have my sword? Oh my god, I forgot to grab my sword out of the chest. What a flippin' jackass. I'll go grab that off camera, actually, and then, uh, just run back to the end when I'm done. Let's talk to this guy, though. Greet you, the smith's apprentice. Sir, I sweep up, fire the furnaces, run the shop. Can I have a look? As you wish. Yeah, I, I could never trade at this guy before, probably because I didn't side with Siegfried in the sewers. Uh, excellent leather jacket. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure the Dwarven Merchant also sells the same thing. The same lineup as this. Could be mistaken, though. And yes, he has a blue meteorite. We will buy a single one, so we have three. And then we will see if we can make a better sword. How much is that armor, actually? So, can I have a as you Let's take a look here. It's 5,000. We're not even close. Uh, so we'll have to get that later. But we'll get it at some point, I'm Need sure. Anything? You sell me your way. Siegfried. I gotta go through that, yeah. And now, which one do we get? It's this one, right? A sword forged of three pieces of blue meteorite steel used to fight humans ineffective against most monsters. Oh, so it's a steel sword and not a silver one. Huh, okay, well, we're gonna buy it. Why is it, why is this one more expensive? Huh, a sword forged of one red and two blue pieces of meteorite steel used to fight humans. Does plus 5% damage, plus 16% chance of critical effect pain. This is 45% and then plus 20 on disarm. So which one's better? This one's more expensive, so it makes me think that it's better. But I think this is better. Yeah, so we're going to go with this one. Even though it's cheaper, I feel like it will be better for us. Um, if not just for the disarm effect alone that'll be really useful transaction successful and now we no longer need to go back and go get our old sword because we have a better one okay so we have some bouncers outside of uh rams meets house we'll be introduced to that guy at some point what the hell did you just say she just said i'm so hot or something but it was a bunch of o's i'm so huge i have the strength the strength for what lady you're about to have a nip slip you might want to cover up 
connections are everything. Got a bunch of thugs. We can kill these guys at night. We probably will do that, actually. And another notice board. We got a thug with a massive head. Nothing at the board. Um, but here is the Harry Bear Inn. Let's go inside. Okay, I'm gonna do a little inventory management, and then uh, we'll we'll get a rest in, and we'll speak with ooh a gambler. We'll talk to that guy in the next episode for sure. I love gambling. It's like one of my favorite things to do in this game, to be honest. Innkeeper. Well, well, swords on your back, white hair. You're on away from a circus. No, still a member. <laughs> but I hear they're looking for you. Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? Well, it didn't take us much to uh, earn that guy's respect, really. I'd like to see the storage. Uh, yeah. Just give me a moment. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Uh, we have all of our potions up here. We need to make more swallow ASAP because we're quickly running out of that. Uh, and then I kept all the alcohol on us because we're going to be doing some potion making soon. But I put away all of our alcohol. We can always come back and... Uh, grab some of that whenever we need to drink with somebody uh, But for now, we're gonna go ahead and call out an episode here and uh, we'll we'll do a bunch of stuff in the next one We're gonna level up. We're gonna make some potions and we're gonna do a bunch of quests. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time